everyone, this is Josh from Visto for another episode of Talent Tips. I am here with Danae Brown from Blue Cat. Danae, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Can we start by just hearing a little bit more about yourself and what you're working on these days? For sure. Currently, I'm the manager of recruitment for Blue Cat. You know, we're typical IT, so IT roles, software developers, engineers, network engineers, salespeople of all levels, mid-market, enterprise, SDRs. And we've got a variety of marketing roles that we're currently working on now, too. So it's pretty exciting over here at Blue Cat. Awesome. Exciting and busy, I'm sure, with, with all those roles open. Danae, our second and favorite question is, can you give three tips to aspiring immigrants looking to land their first job with a Canadian company? For sure. I love the question, and it's something that I'm very passionate about. There's kind of three, the three kind of things that I talk about, especially when I'm interviewing with you know, new immigrants or recent immigrants here to Canada, there's a couple of things. So one is, I would say it's okay to start to take a job outside of your profession. I, I call it actually a survival job, you know, taking that job that may be in retail or, or something that is not really aligned with what you're looking for, but we have bills to pay. And in looking for a, a job in Canada can be long. So I just say a survival job is fine. It's okay to be honest about that, not to be something to be embarrassed or ashamed about. We have bills to pay. So just, you know, be honest with people you're interviewing with. Yeah, I'm currently working at such and such. It's not where I want to be, but it's it's my survival job. So that's the one thing I would say, but don't let it last too long. What happens is people get comfortable. They kind of take a step back from looking for jobs in their profession. And then one to two years goes by really quickly. And now they're still trying to enter the market in the profession, but they're one to two years behind. So take a survival job. Be proud of that. It shows that you're hardworking but don't let it last too long. Keep looking for that role that you really, really want. The other thing I always tell people and I coach people on when I, when I interview, I kind of do more sometimes coaching versus just a traditional interview. Know your value. The work experience that you've had in your country is really important. I'm in the IT field, IT, Microsoft, Cisco, it's all the same in every country. The only difference really is potentially language. You know, if you, if you speak English, it's, not an issue. Know your value. Do the market research on what somebody in your profession with your amount of years of experience would make in Canada. That's really important. What I get over and over again is I'll work for minimum wage just to get the Canadian experience. Or people will even work for free. And that devalues yourself. That devalues your experience. And I always tell people, figure out what the market value is. If you want to give yourself a competitive advantage, don't go in at the highest level of, of maybe the salary, go in at the middle. Just really value what you've done. I don't know I don't know who it is that tells people that you're not going to get a job in Canada in your field when you come here. Just take that out of your mind. It's one of the things I always tell people. And I guess my third piece of advice, which is really kind of cliche, but really don't give up. You know, it, it, I tell this to people all the time in Canada who have lived in Canada all their life or who are new to Canada, finding a full-time job is a full-time job. It is really, it, it's, it's really difficult and it takes a long time sometimes to, to find a full-time job for everybody if you're, if you're new or not. Databases are, or HR databases are what we call ATS systems or applicant tracking systems where, where people apply to, is a candidate's worst nightmare because you could be the best person for the job, but if you don't have these key points that recruiters are looking for or that they search for in their databases, you'll never surface. So when looking for a role, I always say, look at the job description. You'll have a, a hundred different variations of your resume. So don't just use a standard and just hit apply, 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 apply. It will make it life so much harder for you. Look at the job description. See, try to figure out what the keywords would be that a recruiter would be looking for. Say, if they're looking for a software engineer, are they looking, or a developer, are they looking for .NET, Java? You know, what are the technologies that they have listed in the first few sentences of, of the role? If you have experience with it, put it in your resume. Make sure it's in there because if those are the keyword searches they're looking for, your resume will surface. So just, again, keep your head up, you know, and don't, don't give up. And I, like, I 
understand the process can be very, very frustrating. One thing I will say when you give up, it shows on an interview. You know, mm. when I've interviewed people and I can tell it's, you know, probably their 20th interview and no one has given them any feedback or they've gotten, they've obviously received no results. They look defeated and their whole posture, everything about them is defeated and and they're just like okay another interview that probably won't get anything that that energy comes across and it, it can be a real turn off for hiring managers for recruiters for hr people so just i always say you may feel defeated but every time you go into an interview put on that smile and just be like this is the job i'm going to get and just have that energy every time it, it's it can be tough you've got to dig down deep sometimes but those are the real key things that I, that I tell everybody that's that's looking for work. So yeah, don't give up. Know your value and and it's okay to take a survival job. Just don't let it last too long. Awesome. Those are those are great tips, Denise. Thank you very much yeah. for that. I know you mentioned some of the roles earlier on, but our third question is to just highlight any open roles, maybe like one or two or three at Blue okay. Cat that are most dire right now a big one for us is developers you know there's there's like most tech companies developers are in in high demand right now so that's a huge one for us but and sales sales folks at the enterprise level is is a big one for us in the kind of that tech space so those are probably the key ones that that we're working on and then we're also building out our channel partner area of, of the business as well. It's more kind of on a global basis, but those are kind of like the three key areas that, that our business is growing in the most right now. Got it. And we'll make yeah. sure to share a link to the careers page in the description below. Last question, Danae, can you give a shout out to someone in the Canadian HR talent, people or recruitment space? Sure. I actually, there's two people or two, two, one, one person in a group. So the, the big one that I would love to give a shout out to is a really dear friend of mine, Susan Ferguson. We've worked together at a, diff- a couple of different companies, but one of my first organizations that I worked at, she was there and just extremely successful, but not just the way that she, we call it run her desk, like the way that she interacts with people and, and talks with candidates and remembers them and remembers their story. She just she goes at a deeper level than, than I find, I mean, recruitment is saturated in the market and, and, and she just goes above and beyond for, for people. And I've always just been in awe of her success and, and the way that she works. So she's a, she's a big one, a big inspiration for me. And then the other is my team, the team that I currently am working with right now, just amazing group of, of, of young people who are driven again, have that deeper connection with candidates versus just trying to this kind of like a numbers game it's it's not that they remember people if we don't have if they weren't successful in this particular role they'll remember them for the next one it's really really key to me and and, and they're amazing i'm really excited to see where their career grows because i just know that they're going to do phenomenal so those would those be the two well one group and and one person that i would love to give a shout out to Awesome. Those are those are great answers. Danae, thanks so much again. If anybody wants to get in touch with you or, or learn more, where do you recommend that they go? They can either connect with me on LinkedIn or via email is, is fine as well at dbrown at bluecatnetworks.com. But LinkedIn is always a, a good start. Cool. We'll link to that as well in the description. Danae, thank you again for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me.